Alright, so what is poppin' everybody? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon tutorial video. Uh, if you guys don't know what the video this is, I don't know why you clicked it, but this is basically going to show you guys how to level up fast in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now, there are three instances in this game that you're going to be able to take everything that I put in this video, and you'll be fucking ready for anything this game has to throw at you, whether it be early game, middle to, like, early to mid, mid part of the game, and then even late game for just grinding up Pokemon in general so like I said in the beginning if you guys find this any type of helpful be sure to hit thumbs up for the boy and let's get into it so what you want to do first of all is get the lucky egg but before I get the lucky egg I'm actually gonna take a Pokemon out of the box to use as an example as a uh, what's the word as a uh, I don't want to say like a test dummy but like just here here watch this. I'm gonna take the Chikorita right here level 5 Chikorita uh, ready for everything just to just get these levels up. I want to fucking let's say you just bred this Pokemon Let's just say we you out of nowhere. We're breeding Pokemon and you're going to want to level them up to get them a game him six side V's all that shit What you want to do first of all is get the lucky egg and in order to get the lucky egg You actually have to go to 10 carat hill and talk to professor Kukui. now This is not an in-game like a post game exclusive thing after you beat Ilima, the first child captain, and complete like a certain number of uh, percent in your Pokédex, you're actually able to just do this straight ahead. You're actually able to um, go straight to him, and he'll be somewhere in the corner before you leave. Like I said in the early game, you want to make sure that you're actually catching a lot of Pokémon and trying to fill up as much of the Pokédex as you can. Now, like I said, you're going to want to talk to Kukui. You're going to want to chill out with him. Yo, what's good? And he's going to like, him and Rotom are going to have a big-ass funny dialogue. And he's going to give me the Lucky Egg. Now, the Lucky Egg is actually going to be really, 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 really fucking, like, crazy. Because, let's say you have a Pokemon that your friend gave you. Let's say um, you have a high-level Pokemon. Just in general, let's just, say, let's just say that. Fuck it, right? Let's say you have a Pokemon that you want to uh, be able to... Uh, just grind up and just able to just basically one shot everything in the game. Let me find let me find the fucking um the lucky X slot because we need it really fast. Hold on, it's right here. It's right here. Now I'm gonna be giving this to let's give it to Vaughn really quick because Vaughn's gonna be the one that we were looking for. Now I already have a lot of fucking uh items as you can see. I did PK hex my shit, but that's not the point of the video. This is to show you guys what we're gonna be doing. And I'm gonna put Vaughn in the front now. Vaughn for me. Vaughn for me right now is a traded Pokemon. I do have um, a lot of regular Pokemon that I already caught in the game. So I may as I, I probably should do that. But this is more so, you know, trading with your friends or whatever. And just getting a high level Pokemon to do whatever you want. Now after you get the Lucky Egg, there's actually a lot of instances where you can just grind up early game. So now we're, we're, what we're going to do right now is get this Chikorita to like in her teens, somewhere close to her evolution. Why not, right? Or let's say fuck it. Let's just go straight into it and see what we can get off her levels. Let's go to, uh, for example, there's a lot of places in here where you can go. If you want to go to Panolia Ranch, if you go to the Panolia Ranch, there will be uh, Mudbray and Miltank. You want to actually battle both of them, but you, what you want to do is battle Miltank more so than Mudbray. But at the same time, it doesn't really matter. But you really want uh, Miltank because it gives a lot of experience. Early game, so like let's say at this part in the game, you're like in your teens, middle to late teens. And this could probably get you to level like 22 to 23 by the time. So that way you're good enough for the second trial which is lana um let's say if you want if you if you pass all of this shit you're gonna go to the um the ruins of life or somewhere around uh route nine and there will be some alolan radicates and some wingles over there next to the ruins of life uh you're gonna want to battle the alolan radicates at this point in the game because the alolan radicates actually give a lot of experience there's no way in hell why you shouldn't be able to hit level 30 before Olivia actually in that moment in the game. Or at least level 35 by the time if you do have the lucky egg and you can just basically just go through. But what we're going to be doing is what we're going to be doing. Um, if you want to battle anybody on Ula, anybody on Ula Ula Island is going to give you a lot of experience. So just make sure you battle all the trainers. And if you want to go to Pony, um, the vast Pony Canyon actually gives a lot of uh, experience also. Especially the fucking Alolan Dugtrio, because Alolan Dugtrio actually gives a lot of experience if you have the EXP share all on and the Lucky Egg. And then after that, you want to go 
But I mean, I, I guess after all that comes down to it, if you guys are just looking for a quick and easy way to basically level up your Pokemon, you're actually going to want to go to uh, the shopping district on Melly Melly Island because there is the battle buffet that you can do once a day. I don't, I, I hate having to say this because if you guys remember it back in X and Y, there was Cafe Lo Wow. And Cafe Lo Wow, uh, it was this thing where you could do like triple battles. And you can have a Pokemon in the back and just have the EXP share and have all of them like, uh, you can have one EXP share on one Pokemon, have the triple battle going. So that way you have three times much experience plus the lucky egg, uh, plus any boosted Pokemon going to one Pokemon in the back. Uh, unfortunately, that's not the case in this game because they took some of the, uh, the battle modes off. So what you want to do actually is just sit here and basically, uh, basically you know, just basically just do what you gotta do. Now, note, like I said, and like I said, like not even two seconds ago, uh, this is a once a day thing. You can only do this one time a day, but uh, trust me, it's a lot of experience for what you're gonna be doing. So I'm going to go ahead and go up in here, and he's gonna say some shit like, "Oh, what a terrifying restaurant! If you're looking for an elegant dining experience, let me tell you, you're in the wrong place." And that's because he got his ass beat, obviously. So you're gonna go up in here, talk to her, and she's actually gonna ask you, "Do you want to take the challenge?" Uh, you're obviously gonna say yes, because in this moment you wanna actually grind up your Pokemon, so you're gonna wanna dine here, and just for twelve hundred Poke dollars, you can actually battle some really good ass Pokemon. Now, I'm not sure if this is one of those things where it's like it's a level exclusive thing. Uh, if it's like how far you are in the game or how far you um, are in anything But you just want to go up in here to the dishes and basically take some and battle these trainers over here So you'd be battling all these kids you would be battling some of the chefs you would be battling some of the uh, the females in here also and You just want to be able to just basically just beat them I know for me I'm probably just gonna destroy them because Vicky Vol is actually really fucking easy But just look at the levels look at the levels that we're gonna be getting from this guy because look look at this shit Look at this, look at this, he's like level, he's level 55, right? Level 55 is what the P Pokemon trainers in the Elite Four are at in the game. So, I, I, like I said, I don't know if this is where you want to be, like, early game, mid game. I already gave, pretty much gave locations for the early game and the uh, mid game uh, people. But this is, like, for late game, more so after post. Uh, what you want to do is obviously just go up in here. Just literally just go up in here. Go up in here right now. And let's just, let's just kill this Vicky Vol. Let's kill the Vicky Vol. And like I said, we have the Lucky Egg. This isn't this isn't, can't go for everybody. If you don't have a boosted Pokemon, you'll have just the Lucky Egg giving you everything. Just look at Chicken Rita's level. We got six. We got seven. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, we got seven. We got, hold on, hold on. We got eight. Hold on, we got to keep going. We got nine. We got, hold on, because it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to keep going up. We got ten. We got we already got five levels up. We got five levels up, six levels up, seven levels up. So look at this, look at this, look at this. Synthesis. No, let's not worry about synthesis right now. Bro, you see this? You see this? We just got ten levels up from my level five. Look at this. Look at this. You see this? Y'all see this? Hold on. We're not, we're not even done. We're not even done. We're not even done. We're not even done. 18. 19. Watch this. 20. 20. Y'all see that? We started at level five and we gained 15 levels here. Now, like I said, um, this could go for any Pokemon, obviously, because they give you a lot of experience here. If you have a boosted Pokemon, whether you have the lucky egg, and it's, it's just gonna keep going. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God, level 22. That's crazy. And now you get the evolution that you're wanting. You're obviously gonna um, go and battle this guy. Now, like I said, um, there should be no reason as to why I shouldn't have a Meganium coming out of this entire place. And this is just off one battle. One battle starting from scratch from an egg or uh, just a regular small level Pokemon should be enough to level it up to like the early 20s uh, or mid 20s depending on the Pokemon. I guess the Pokemon itself. And for later on in the game, if you guys are just trading up level 30 Pokemon because you have a level 50 team, this is definitely still a good place because you definitely want your higher level Pokemon to go in and basically just do everything. Because look, look, look at this, look at this. There, are, You have to battle all these trainers and all of them are like level 50, level 55, level 56 at this point in the game. And you just want to keep coming out. And then you actually, I think you get money for actually completing this also. So with that being said, I hope this is actually somewhat, uh, I guess somewhat helpful for you guys. Uh, if not, then I apologize. I'm sorry for wasting your time. But like I said, definitely, you definitely want to come up in here because, like I said, it's just 
just in general this is a lot of experience and i'm actually going to go over where you want to go uh, if you're an early game uh trainer or if you're just a middle uh to i don't, I don't want to say middle to middle to i guess early to mid game so like i said well let's actually go up in here and let me show you guys let me basically just run through this again. Run through this again for everybody that doesn't know. For everybody that doesn't know, you get the lucky egg from Kukui. Like I said, there needs to be like a certain percentage for your Pokedex met. You want to catch a lot of Pokemon on this island starting off in the game. And then obviously after you're done with the Illima uh, first trial, you want to go and talk to him. Get the lucky egg from him at the 10 Carat Hill. He's on the beach. Uh, when it comes to the uh, second island, you actually, there's two locations where you want to go. Um, you want to go to the Panolia Ranch. You want to battle both the Mud Brace and the Mill Tanks. Mill Tanks, if you can. If you find any Mill Tanks, by all means, kill them. Get a lot of experience from them. There's no reason. Uh, there's no reason in the world why you shouldn't be at least level 22, maybe 23 by the time uh, you're done here. So that way you can actually go battle uh, Lena's uh, wishy wash because I know a lot of people have troubles with that. And then later on, before you battle Olivia or before you leave the island. There's the Ruins of Life, the little route before the Ruins of Life, Route 9. And you just want to be able to go ahead and battle uh, any wing, any wild Pokemon on there. You can battle Ghastly's because it's a cemetery. You can actually um, battle a Lolan Raticate because they have a lot of experience. Also, uh, even the Wingles themselves. There's no reason why you should not be level 30, at least early 30s by the time you're actually out of here on the second island. And then here is Ula Ula. Ula Ula actually has a lot of Pokemon that you can just get experience off of. More so found in the uh Mele Mele garden or mali garden and i want to say the ula ula meadows so definitely go in between those places and if you want to go up in the uh the hana ruins then by all means go up in the air and then the pony island uh the vast pony canyon is really good for any late games before you actually go uh basically do the elite four and just to just i guess if you don't want to go through all that hassle there is the once of day there's the once a day uh battle buffet that you can go through like i said level 55s just run up a lucky egg give it to somebody with a boost trade with a friend or just have a high level pokemon in general so you can just one shot everybody in here and hopefully you'll be good with the levels uh by the time you play through this game so like i said hopefully this was somewhat helpful for anybody watching if not then I'm, i apologize for wasting your time if it did be sure to hit the thumbs up for the boy and share it with your friends that way you're not that way they're not asked out when it comes to this game and they're not stuck in a very hot spot because i know for me when early in the game i was actually fucking getting my ass destroyed by that wishy-washy or destroyed by the uh olivia so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed like i said and i'll see you guys later bye